Some people like to waffle on about diff breathers. I'm not gonna waffle, I'm just gonna make a short video and show you a vehicle that's never had diff breathers, that's done nearly 450,000 kilometers, that I've never found water in the diffs, that some days, weekends and weeks does hundreds of high country river crossings that are well and truly lapping the floor or above that in height and has just been on an outback trip, dust, dirt, puddles, bog holes, whatever you want to call it, the stuff we don't like, you know, mud equals money, but it's time to change the diff oil. So I thought it's time to just stop waffling and uh, have a look at the oil. So first let's take the filler, always take the filler plug out first. Let's just check it anyway to see what's in there and have a look what on the end of the finger there. Mm. I've got to even say that that's down a little bit, but mm, I don't think so. Just me. Uh, it actually does seem like it's down a little bit. But it can't be, so obviously I set the level wrong. So don't come to me for your diff oil change because apparently I can't even do that right. No, 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 I'm just joking. It's just there. Like you can see the oil's blue. So that blue, and I don't know if you can see that's blue in colour. I'm going to drop the oil out and I'll just show you. I mean, you know, to the best of what possible here. Yeah, let me move this drain tray so it's, you know, I mean, it's going to look black in the drain tray if we even bother looking in there. Because remember we said short video, look, it's just blue, mate. It's just blue. Look at it. There's no grey. There's no water. Right? And even if there was a little bit of water, it's just a diff, mate. Crown wheel and pinion. It's not like an automatic transmission or a brake system or a, a fuel system or something like that. So stop worrying about wasting money on stuff that you don't need. Subscribe, turn the bell on because I'm not selling you anything. I've got some information and some things that might help you, but you can take it or leave. It doesn't bother me. It's a different perspective on things, four-wheel drive, diesel, petrol, whatever. So you might not want to miss it. And uh, yeah, catch on the next video. Because that is the colour. That's the, uh, tell you what oil it is. I'll go get it. People are going to go, what oil do you use? I'll go and get it. Pretty old, that one. Actually, no, that one might be pro here. I'll tell you what I used. I might have had a... A bottle of something left over so I'm gonna go get that I was gonna tell you it's Penrock gear oil premium mineral 8090 maximum protection anti shutter for all differentials including limited slip and gearboxes and that's blue these days used to be green that one's a bit green so it's either old or I suspect hang on a moment I reckon it's the Pro here, full synthetic GL5 75W85, because that's what I got in my hand. I'm just going to have a look at the colour of it. Let's just tip it up in the container, actually. Let me give this a wipe. Because it's, a bit, it's got a small amount of dust on it. We'll get on this clear tube, try and get it a bit clear. This is an old one, it's been sitting around for ages, and for whatever reason, I don't really use it, buy it, or use it on anything. But um, I probably went on the last one. I think I remember something about, you know what? I may as well use it. It's well over spec. You don't need it. It's a waste of money. Okay? I'll say it again. It's a waste of money. You don't need to spend that much money on diff oil. No, it's not that either because look at the colour of the... Uh, that's that pro gear. Right? That I'm talking about. Um, superior. No LSD additive required. But the colour of that's different. So the fact that that's green means it's done that high country trip we did last year. Remember in March, April? Oz Prada crew gathering, all those river crossings, all the recce runs before that, because I'll show you the color of the replacement stuff. Let's just see. I was gonna do a quick video, but there's so much more information. And some people wanna argue, they wanna go, oh, nah, but this and nah, but that. So you gotta show the evidence. So you know where all this started back in the day, you'd share some info with someone, because that's what you do and you know and you've experienced the same thing a hundred times, some people just wouldn't believe it, you know? Now that oil, just because it looks clean and green, doesn't mean it is, right? Now, the fact that it's green tells me I haven't done the rear diff oil change for a while. So probably I did it at 400,000, so it could be 445, or if you check my videos, you would be able to tell me. Someone that watches all the videos and all the diff and oil chain and everything, someone will be able to put in the comments, right? Oh, you did it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's enough draining, mate, that's enough. It's enough oil, it's just a diff. It's only two point, what is it, 2.789, I don't know, I can't remember. I don't care, I just pump it till it's full and charge you for three litres. Because I'm that kind of guy, I just round it. 
If it's three, it's three. If it's two, it's two. I don't do two point bloody ones or two point nines. It's two or it's three. You know what I mean? I just want to show you the colour of this replacement oil. Because it's been this colour for a little while and time goes quickly. Now, can you see it in the tube even? Yeah, you can, right? So there you go. Now you know. This is actually... Oh no, the pump's stuffed, all the oil's coming out when I pull the pump up. That's not good. It's not good when things haven't been used for oil. Let me see if that continues to do that. Or is it going to be okay on the second? Otherwise, I'm in trouble. You know, this is the problem with bloody products these days, isn't it? And I've got to tighten that plug up. I just tighten them both at the same time. So don't worry about that. Oh, it came up the second time. Good. So that's good. But that's the problem with the products these days. You go by yourself. Oh, that's a bit of oil there. You go buy yourself a quality product and it's not bloody quality, is it? You paid the price, you thought it was going to be quality. It's going to do the job anyway, though, right? So, um, 20 litre drum is the way to do it. Then you don't have to be mucking around with your squeeze bottle. So, go buy yourself a 20 litre drum if you're going to do it yourself. Go buy yourself a pump. Now, don't worry about brands. Could be the same stuff, different bucket, but the red pumps, there's different brands of them. The ones with the red, that's what I'm using at the moment. I don't like them, okay? I just don't like it. Now, there's another one. What's the other brand? Ah, oh, forget, hang on, it's up there. I think I've got the box. There it is, yes! McNaught. Now, it might be McNaught or something else, but it's a blue color. I've got a pump in a blue color. And it's beautiful, I love it. If I have my time again, I'm only gonna buy those blue pumps because I've got different brands of red ones because I had bad experience with a number of them. And then I say to the shops that I buy them from, hey, you know, do people have trouble with these or it's just me? And they look at me blank and go, it must be just you, but I'm the only one that cares. Everybody else just has oil spraying everywhere and they don't think or care about it, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, the point is, these red ones, it's a really slow pump. I mean, I know it's getting close to winter and the oil is thick, but why does the blue one pump it easier and faster? Up, down, up, down, up, down, no problem. Anyway, light blue in colour. I think it's McNaught, it's some other brand, it's not Alamite and it's not bloody Alum Lube or any of those red ones, it's blue, light blue in colour, not just the oil. So this pump, what it's doing, when I pull it right up, I'm losing about, I don't know, 10 to 20 mil of oil out every time I pull it up. So when I bring it up, I've got to stop just before the end apparently, otherwise the oil just goes out around the, there it is again because I went all the way. Got to be careful when you're stroking these pumps, you know. You just got to make sure you don't go all the way sometimes. You don't want to pull it all the way up. That could be like all the way out. You just want to keep it a little bit in there so that you don't pull oil out and make a mess everywhere. You've got to stop just before the end. Well, that's what's going on with my one here anyway. And personally, you know, I like to do different. Oh, there's the oil again, so it went too far. Oh, there it is. It must be full because it's overflowing. It's pretty hard to get it right, isn't it, Anthony? Okay, so all jokes aside, any more pumping would be a waste of oil. So I'm going to take that out. A little bit's going to run out backwards. Just so you can see, that's how I do it anyway. So you can do it yourself that way. Or you can pay me or someone I know to do it. I've got I know some people, some workshop partners and that. I haven't talked about that stuff for a while. Well, let me press that pump all the way back down. Tuck that in there. All right, you can... Get out of the way. Beautiful. And you'd think that's the right level because it's overflowing. So that's the blue stuff. That's definitely what I said the first time. The 80, 90, blah, 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 you know. It's all you need for these diffs. It's just a diff. More importantly than wasting more money on it. So this is the Gear Oil 80, 90 maximum protection. Now, what's more important than spending twice as much on oil? Who can answer that one? Now, I'm going to tell you the answer anyway, because, you know, not everybody knows it, is changing it more often. But when it comes to a diff, and that's not my final cleaning, by the way, that's just my, you know, <laughs> giving it a quick wipe. Now, this torque spec is, I think from memory, it's 49. Is that right? You can check that in the book as well, right? So listen for the click. 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 They're tight, right? So they're beautiful. You can put a new washer if you like. You can put a new washer every time. Some people tell you you need to, or you've got to put a new washer every time. Well, on my car, it's an R&D vehicle. I put a new washer every 100 times. And that works. Now, I'm just exaggerating. Maybe every 5, 10, 20. I'll just have a look at it, right? This time, didn't get a new one. What does it get now? 
it's going to get a bit of brake cleaner sprayed around so it's all nice and clean and when i'm finished the whole job it's going to get hit with degrazer and the pressure washer as well because look there's still dirt oh, who did this cleaning job let me see oh there's not that much in there but there's a drain hole there so you just put heaps of water in the hole at the top till it runs out and if there's sticks and things like that blocking the hole next time you got it up you poke the sticks out anyway enough waffle that's another video subscribe turn the bell on and we'll catch you on the next one that's changing diff oil with all the information you need